So um, today's class, we're going to look at some interesting Queen Anne games. And uh, um, I want to start off with uh, what I would say is arguably one of my most painful games I've ever played. Well, maybe not in terms of what was on stake, but just in terms of uh, variant. Um, so anyway, so let's take a look at Oh, apparently my internet is unstable. Hmm, that's strange. I mean, I hope you all could hear me. But anyway. Um, anyway, so it's white to play. <clears throat> um, what would you guys do here with white? Yeah, what would you do as white here? Yeah, apparently something is with my internet. I don't know why that is. I mean, my internet was fine all day, but I don't know what happened. Strange. Hopefully it'll be okay. I mean, I am at home, so should be okay. But I don't know. So it's white to play. White to play. What to do? Yeah, that's true. Our um, our at here, but um, let's look carefully at opponent's ideas also. Try to push the pawn. Queen d six b six. Yeah, queen d6, b6 is what he did, but it's a little bit inaccurate. We'll take a look later in the game why. Um, knight c2 is possible, but then we have to deal with the move knight d7. And I think we're losing a pawn here. So that's the that's the issue with that move. Or maybe we're not losing a pawn, but there's like knight e5, and there are some issues here. So, um, yeah, queen g6, b6 is a very interesting idea, which is, uh, of course, if we go here right away, there's my d7, we lose the pawn. Um, yes, very good. So we play, died very good, Austin. We played the move king h2. And this is a very strong waiting move, because after this, it's very hard for black to do anything. For example, if you place queen b2, um, we can go queen d6 and white is okay. And if d4, we go knight c4 and b6. And we get a uh, counterplay enough for a draw. So after the king h2 move, and if knight d7, I guess queen d6 then. So king h2 is at a really strong move. Does a great job of keeping the tension. And in some cases gets the king out of that the um, vulnerable square. I'm guessing here you can also probably play queen d6. Um, so king h2 was very strong. Um, oh, knight c2. Um, yeah, knight c2, I think knight d7 is, uh, is the problem. Yeah, knight c2, knight d7 is a bit of a problem. Um, I mean, yeah, you're... So, uh, so white played queen d6 here. Um, and now, of course, I played d4, which, you know, makes the most sense. Uh, he played b6. All right, what should we do as black here? If the gun's not here. Uh, Austin, do you want to your answer yeah so um white's idea is knight c4 and then it's actually really hard to stop it so um i thought well we have to basically get counterplay in time before white can get the queen so i thought knight d5 so that if knight c4 um then we can take the knight and then white will push and we, you know we can't stop the pawn but I think we're in time now to uh, to check and then play nine. Well, ninety three first or check first. I don't think the order matters a whole lot. But basically, we we just need like counterplay. I mean, I, I gave it like a really long line yeah, starting with yeah, one, exactly. but maybe ninety. You can try turning off your video. That might make it lag less. Okay, maybe I'll just do that because otherwise. Oh, but now I. Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um. Yeah, so knight, so knight d5 is um, 
is is quite strong for this reason. Um, yeah, if we play ninety eight, I think my, somebody yeah somebody get ninety eight ninety eight um, queen here c three yeah maybe we can play b seven then. Yeah, this would probably be a draw after that line. Um, okay, so anyway, let's go. Let's go back. So I played d4, and my opponent played here. I played knight d5, and my opponent played here, and I played here. And now in this position, black is uh, winning. But how does how what does black play here? Uh, what is more accurate here, knight e3 or d2? Or something else, maybe. What should black play here? Yeah, don't just say one, the move, actually. Give, give, give some lines explaining why. And try to look for your opponent as well. Because when you just give one move, that means you're basically not trying hard enough to look for opponent's resource. And that could be, in a position like this, this could be very costly. All right, most of you are given 93, which is the... Um, okay, so D2, no, no, I was just uh, I was just like reading the solution, sorry. Wait, I'm lagging again? Wait, I'm lagging again? You can't hear me now either? Wait, what? Uh, okay, you know, maybe I sh should, of course, just should I? Oh, okay, no, never mind. Yeah, no. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm very, I'm very confused. Like, course, is it like a real problem or, uh, or is it not? Wait. Um, okay. Anyway. So. Okay. Anyway, the point of this position is that. After after we go d2, white queens, black queens. I don't know, this has never happened before. This is like, okay, I mean, this is ridiculous. I don't know what's happening today. It's, it's like, I'm really sorry. I, I don't know. This is out of my control. Like, it's out of my control. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, I, I don't know. I'm not talking now i'm not talking now i'm not talking now i'm just trying to figure out what to do i'm sorry i don't i i, I struggle when things go out of my out of my comfort zone so just give, give me a give me a, a second we'll we'll i'll give you over time today i mean i just i just don't know what to do about this i'm sorry this has never happened before and i don't do well with unfamiliar situations i'm i, I i'm like this with chess too Hi everyone. Yeah, sorry. Uh, can someone please give me feedback on the on the quality? It's not better. Oh no. I mean, I'm so sorry. I can't. I can't. Oh, oh, much better. Okay. I mean, I'm so sorry. I don't know what to do about that. I mean, it's 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 really out of my control. I I, I can't. I I can't force the internet to be better. I mean, I'm not God. I don't have power of this technology i'm sorry i can't do it this is not i'm just a weak human i'm sorry okay but i mean it didn't help i last time i also turned off the it didn't help yeah it was still bad even when i turned it off what i'm lagging again i mean what Am I really? I mean, everybody else is telling me it's okay. Why are you're the only one telling me it's a problem? I don't understand. Okay, okay. Um, okay. Uh, all right. So, so again, let, let's get back to the topic. Um, what should black play here? D2 or 93? You guys had a chance to think it through. Sorry, I, I'll give you extra time. So d2, b8 queen, d1 queen is very tempting. And uh, that looks like it works. That looks like it works. But white has a, white has a very strong, white has a very strong move here. Oh, uh, what should white, 
play here. This is an amazing position because, uh, yes, very good. Sefer has got it. Yes, Sefer has got it. Yeah, you have to be very precise because if you, you have to play queen d d8. And suddenly, white is winning here. Because if queen c7 takes, takes, you lose the queen. And if queen f4 takes, takes, queen takes d1. So queen d d8 is the big point here. Any other move, black is winning here. For example, queen here, queen c7. And black is winning. And uh, queen e8, some people suggest that we go queen f4. And black is winning. So the whole point is the only reason d2 does not work is because of this line. This line. So you see how queen endgames are very, you have to be very, very precise in the queen endgames. Very precise. Because one miscalculation is positive. I really wanted to make this work. Because I saw that 93 isn't as clear. So, of course, I would have preferred to play this. But sadly, there is one move that beats me. So I can't play that. So it was a little bit unlucky for me that he has that move. So I played 93, which is uh, which is good. He queened. Queen c2. Okay. All right. Now... What should white do? What's white's best chance here? It's queen g6, of course. Queen g6 takes queen e8. Here, queen f8. And now queen e3 would lose easier because the king gets to d5. So he played queen check. And he tried to get to this position. And now, what would you do as black here? This is winning, but it's not like super easy. At least... For me, it was difficult to convert. So let's see if you guys got it. Uh, yeah, I think queen c3 is better. Because the thing about queen c7 is that that's what I've played. But it helps the white king and get in the game, which he wants to do anyway. So queen c3 is, is a stronger move. And uh, after queen c3... Black should win. Like if king here, I go d2. And if queen there, king b2, followed by king c1. So that would have been relatively straightforward, actually. Instead, I played there and here. But this isn't as easy. He goes queen e4, wins my pawn. I have to go here. King f1 now. And so now it's already not as easy. I played, uh, I played g5. Uh, because king's, king's here already, like there's this move or something. So it's already not super easy. And eventually, I had like one of my most embarrassing moments in my chess career. Because in this position, I was like, and this often happens, you know, usually a prelude to one of your worst blunders is, um, yes, yeah, uh, yes, I did. Uh, usually the prelude to one of some of your worst blunders is uh, when you, um, lose the positional threat. And uh, here, I was debating between two moves, queen c2 trying to go d2 and d2. And both moves, by the way, are bad. So I was already completely losing the threat somehow. And I played queen c2, allowing queen e1. So that was uh, probably the most you know embarrassing moves I made. And not only that, I had uh, something like 50 move minutes on the clock. And I did think a little bit, but somehow my brain just that day and it's kind of a pity because, like, I was playing a great game up to this point. Like, I was played an IM, uh, you know, really nicely. But then this happened, you know, and uh, this was uh, quite bad. So, by the way, the funny thing is that D2 was also a bad move. Why is D2 a bad move? Um.
Oh, wow, I see. So you did the same thing. Okay, yeah. Look, I feel hopefully all of you other, all of you, all, all the other people who maybe recently made some painful blunders, hopefully now you don't feel quite as bad. By the way, I showed this moment in, I think, another earlier lesson, like maybe two years ago. It's never too late to lose. And that one could be found on, on YouTube. All right. Very good, David. Jin. Yes. Queen B1 here, Queen H2. And that's a draw because you control that square. And here you make a draw. The two would have also been a big mistake. But um, but yeah, no, this was a bad moment after a pretty nice early part of the end game to lose like that. But you know, this this happens in chess, you know. This tournament was one of my worst ever. And then I had three amazing tournaments in a row after that. So like sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you get unlucky. That's that's chess. Um, I see. Uh Gordon. Yeah, that's tough, but you know, at least it was a drawn position rather than a winning position. Uh, okay. Uh, next question. So white to play. Uh, what should white do here? Oh, I see. Wow, that's nice, Anson. Congratulations. Yeah, queen four is an interesting suggestion, but I don't have to take it. Of course, if I take it, we're very happy. But uh, then the king invades. But I can play a move like g5 or queen d8, and it's not so clear. I had an earlier student also suggest queen e4, but it's not, it's not the best. Um, right, very good, David. Jin. Takes, takes, g4 is the right idea. I mean, all the other moves, white is probably going to be better, but how to win? Like, not easy. But, uh, sorry, but uh, queen takes e7, followed by g4 is the only winning plan. Um, and now, let's say black goes uh, king d6, take, take, king e4 here. By the way, king f4 also works. And then king f4. And uh, white is winning in this position in every line. Yeah, every line white is winning. White is faster. And if he plays hg, king takes, uh, king f7, f4, king e6, f5, you make the fast pawn with this idea of f5. Very nice, classic idea. Uh, ah, you looked at f f4 i see in that position um mm -hmm. yeah so so g4 is the right idea here g4 is the right idea and king e6 f4 and white is also winning so this king and pawn and game transition is winning for white all right let's check the next example so we have to always calculate these very careful. The next one I'm going to show you is uh, uh, Smirnov of the Satorov game. Um, okay, so so here, what should White uh, do here?
yeah, rook d8 does not work because I can take here and I'm defending the, the queen. So rook d8 is a non-starter, unfortunately. Yeah, queen g7 also does not work. Yes, I, I get what you feel. Uh, um, okay, Austin, and what about it in case they play rook f4 against your move? What happens then? Yes, queen G, so queen g4 is the right idea. Rook f4, rook d8. Rook takes, rook takes. And if queen takes, queen g7. And uh, rook d3 takes, takes, queen a4 is the point. So queen g4 is the the idea because we're stopping rook d3. Queen g6 was what played, played in the game, very tempting. Hoping that for this, rook bishop e8, rook d8. But uh, rook d3 is very strong then. Takes, takes here. And here, okay, black is losing, but he's still fighting. And somehow white was just not able to convert this. And in fact, he ended up even overpressing and losing this later on. Uh, shockingly enough. At some point, he allowed black to get counterplay. And, uh, and here, white should have just acquiesced with a perpetual. But yeah, now... Black is is winning. How does black win? Very good, Josh Roman. Queen takes d3, queen takes d3, king e6. And black is winning. This is the key idea. Queen takes d3 and then king e6. And then black is winning. Black gains that extra tempo and gets the king in the middle. This is a little bit counterintuitive, but very nice, uh, very nice idea. Yeah, okay. Uh, like normally in this position, you know, you see a bunch of checks that don't really work. Then you see this option, safe option of a pawn. You say, okay, at least I have that, but let's see if I have something better. And then you try to be creative and then you find this. Well, okay, it's not an immediate draw, right? Like, you know, in fact, um, you know, like, it's only a draw if, like, you're comfortable enough to draw it, like, against uh, a Grandmaster. Yeah, I mean, in practical, in, objectively, it's probably more like a draw. But in practical terms, there are still chances. But, you know, of course, the best is, is this, by far, by far. I'm just saying, if you can't find anything, you, it's good to have this kind of line in your back pocket. You see, okay, at least I have this. So if you don't find anything, like, clear-cut, then you play that, right? But hopefully, you keep looking, and then you find this. All right, so let's keep going. White to play. What should we do? Just one pawn, one queen for each side. Should not be too hard. Oh. So king of eight is very tempting. A lot of you are giving me king of eight. But king of eight, there's this very strong idea, queen of five check. And um, if I trade, trade king here, there's this king h8 move. <clears throat> and black is able to draw this. So that would be a little bit of a problem. So king f8 is tempting, but it's not quite the right idea. If you go queen g5, I cannot take it, but I can go queen d1, let's say. and uh, or, queen, or queen f3. And uh, again, black will get counterplay to do stuff with the queen. So the only winning idea is king of six. And then after takes, you take here. And now queen of five does not work anymore. Because takes, 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 here, king e6. And after queen here, you go king f7. 
And after queen h6, she go king f7 as well. Um, yeah, so uh, black played... Uh, so black's best chance is king h6, and so now what? Queen g5, don't go queen g5, because then you will be the one who loses here. So don't go queen g5. Yeah, that would be bad. Queen e1? No, then queen f5. Again, you're playing for a loss like that. Uh, yes, very good. King f7 is the idea. And uh, now queen f5 does not work anymore because takes takes king f6. And of g5, I go king of eight, threatening mate. Uh, and now white is winning. Here, 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 takes. Here, takes, takes. Here, 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 here. Okay, let's look at the next example. So as you can see, queen endgames, a lot of it is, is actually uh, calculation. Well, this game is a game I played against Brian Smith with black. And uh, start off with this queen end game. All right. So I just played queen of seven. Do we take or not take? Okay, so the correct answer is uh, queen takes f7 is the right. So queen f7 was a was a blunder. So, you know, you have to be very, very careful with these kinds of moves like queen f7 because, you know, they, uh, they require a lot of calculation. And uh, I assumed queen f7 is not so good because I thought it takes e5 and then king e6. And I thought I'm playing for the win here or maybe I'm even winning. But it turns out that this is uh, winning for white because of this move king f3, which I missed. And when you play a move like that fast, such a responsible move, speaking of like taking your time in critical moments, well, nothing is more critical than potentially transposing into a king and pawn game, right? You have to be very, very careful with, with a decision like that, right? And uh, I missed the new ones and that's it. I'm now losing because again, he now he's the one who makes the outside pass pawn with this move c4. And now he's just winning with the outside pass form. a4, b5, I bring the king back, go king e5, and win the king's side. Brian Smith, yeah, he's a grandmaster. So um, uh, my so I played d5, but that's also losing because of uh, he has that extra tempo to spare with a3, and um, and here I resign because the king just can't, comes in. So that was... Uh, Quite unpleasant. All right, so let's uh, let's keep going. Uh, all right, this is Duda against Artemiev. So here we have a question. Should white keep the queens with a move like queen e5 or queen d6, or should white trade?
Well, also and that's true. White can't make like a ton of frag. Was white's better? Like if white plays queen d6, b3, white will put pressure. G3, king g2, king f3, and black's kind of stuck. Like it's very unpleasant to play with black. Like put it as this way. Like would you feel comfortable playing against a GM here with black? Like after like queen e5 or queen d6. Like I wouldn't. For example, I would not feel comfortable playing with black against Carlson here, or something like that, right? Or Wesley. So someone like that. So um. So the point is, we should only take on f7 if we think we're winning in the end game, in a born end game. But if we're not, we should be pressing for a long time with a move like queen d6 or queen e5. So like for me, like let's say I'm let's say I'm playing at 2400 if I want to win. You know, I need to calculate queen f7 that it wins because if it doesn't. You know, then you know they're going to be able to figure out make a draw. Whereas after queen d6 or queen e5. I have good chances to like play a hundred moves and eventually do some mistake, right? Well, no, I mean Anson. I mean, if a pawn and game is drawn and it's forced, like why wouldn't you feel comfortable playing a GM, right? If the position is clear to play, who cares if it's a GM sitting in front of you or whoever else, right? It depends on what kind of position it is, right? Um, so, um, so yeah, um, uh, um. Uh, so queen f7 was actually what was played in the game, but it does not win. Because, um, yeah, f4, I can go maybe even h5, and then king goes, and then d4, king d5. g4 was also suggested, but I think here, um, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, I mean, I might, I might have to go, wait, let me just check with engine one second. No, sorry, not wait, not king e6. Sorry, king here f4 h5. Ah, this is a draw. Okay, interesting. Ah, okay, this is the draw. I see. Ah, okay, wow, okay, it's only moves to make a draw. Okay, okay, yeah, I mean, this is a little tricky. Yeah, okay, yeah, this is a little tricky actually. Yeah, this is a little tricky, actually. Yeah, so, okay, it's possible g4 was a better try, although it's still a draw. But it was maybe it was a better try, but it's like, yeah, black draws by, like, only moves, with, but, like, with by, by tempo, but nonetheless, it is a draw, but it's not obvious. <laughs> uh, white played there. What helped Black, I think, make a draw here is even though you have this dilemma with outside pass pawns, which White just assumed he's winning probably, Black's king is very active. That's the thing. Because of the Black active king, it's not easy for White to make that same progress. So this was like a little bit of an exception position. It was a little shocking that it's a draw, but nonetheless, it is what it is. Uh, you can check it with your engine. Its position is a draw. All right, so let's look at the next example. This is a game of like my student playing black against a player a little higher than him. And uh, look at it from the black standpoint of view. All right, so here we have to decide where should the queen go. Yeah, like this is a very concrete position. So the correct move is queen f5. Because the difference is that after queen here, rook g8, white's main idea is to go queen c6, like trying to defend this weak squares. Then we need to go here, take here, queen c1. And now the big thing is we took the b2 pawn. It's not so much about the pawn, it's more about the fact that now we open up that uh, B file and black gets lots of counterplay. So, um, so yeah, so in this position, uh, that was best. Queen g4 isn't as accurate. 
because this doesn't work. And after this, we are winning. Uh, so black, I play black played queen h5. But the difference is that now we don't pick up the pawn, right? Okay, take care. Uh, and uh, yeah, queen g4. Yeah, now black is losing, right? Because black does not get that same counterplay. But the game's not over. The game ended in a draw. Later on, black got some chances. Um, because here, why didn't find the best winning plan? Very good, g4, double exclamation mark, but not queen g3, because then queen g4, but king g3. Then we just pick up all the pawns, and it's uh, it's completely winning position. White missed it instead, white played there, and suddenly black gets enough counterplay for a draw after rook e8. And the rest was uh, kind of... In fact, though, black, it was like a four-queen endgame. Black almost even won the game, but in the end, it was perpetual. Um, yeah, so you see how much calculation there is in queen and game. All right, let's do this one. Black to play. What should we do? So f4 is tempting, but f4 loses because we go queen e5 check. Followed by c7 and then queen c2 we go here and we cover g3 well we cover e1 square so f4 loses tempting move but it loses king h7 yeah i don't think it works If you go queen three, um, ah, I see you want to play c seven here, but ah, but I don't have to allow. Uh, I can go queen a queen a three, yeah, yeah. I don't think this works. Yeah, queen a three. Is there no queen e5? Wait, there's still, there's still some more to this line. One second. Ah, there's still more to this line. Okay, interesting. Yeah, without the engine, I'm quite weak. <laughs> uh, no, I know I know this loses, but I just I, I need to figure out why. Ah. No, oh, queen i3, queen e5, maybe? Oh, maybe queen g3 first. And I, no, but then then still d4. Wait. Okay, why am I like not seeing it? Like I, I'm trying to figure this out without the engine. Wait, one second. Why does queen a, why does queen e3 not work? So so queen g3 now. Oh, queen g3 now. Okay, queen g3 now, yes. Yes, and then queen c3. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Good point. Yeah, queen e3 is very creative, but I I'm wondering though, is this already a draw? Like I'm I'm just curious. Is this actually already a draw? Four. Yeah, this. Okay, so queen g3 is indeed the only move, yeah. Yeah, so queen e3 is a very interesting suggestion, but uh yeah, unfortunately queen g3 beats it. So the key is we have to find the idea that covers both the c3 and e5 squares. And uh, the only I, there's only one idea that that does all that. Any ideas? Queen takes b two. Excellent. C seven. Queen c three. Draw. Because if you move the queen up, I go queen e five check. You can't do anything. Very good, Austin. 
Yeah, it's a tough puzzle. It's a tough puzzle. Not very natural, but. Uh, let's see what else we have. Okay, let, let's 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 end with this one. Black to play. What should we do? Yes. Yeah, g3 you have to play. If you go queen c2 or queen e2, you're going to lose because of this, this, this. And now your only check is g3, otherwise you get mated. And then king g2, I don't have to take it. And then you lose. So you must play g3 first, threatening queen f2. And only after, uh, sorry, uh, you must play g3 first. And only after this, then you go queen e2. Or maybe queen c2 also works, but... Yeah, and now you make a draw. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the class. I'm sorry for some internet problems mid-class, but, you know, that, that's how it goes sometimes. But yeah, I wanted to, hopefully I made it up made up for you by giving you ex some extra time. And I hope you guys enjoyed the, the calculation exercises with the Queen Endgames and learned some key ideas, transitioning into Pawn Endgames and some strategical ideas uh I, now i'm gonna let you guys chat with with each other and uh well joshua you're very lucky some people have their flight got canceled and mine got late four hours you know you know when i got home yes yesterday 5 a.m 5 a.m so you know i'm, I'm surprised i'm still like fresh you know, after a very long day of teaching. So two hours is nothing <laughs> given 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 how things were. Like I literally thought like anyway, I don't even don't even get me started on what happened. Um every time the our errands are late, you deserve a few well late, sure, but like what about canceled you know <laughs> you know it's uh my friend's flight was like six hours and got canceled yeah i mean that's um uh, no i mean that's that's what almost happened to me because there was a problem finding a crew member yeah i mean that's no i mean these days flying is a very big hassle that's why i'm gonna try to avoid it as much as i can going forward and i really like austin's proposition by the way <laughs> Um, I think, you know, full refund would be enough because like, for example, imagine if my flight got canceled, I would have like missed out on so many lessons today. Yeah. So, would, uh, but okay, that's life. Yeah. Life isn't fair. My friend's flight was canceled. KLM gave him a chocolate bar as compensation. <laughs> wow. Well, okay. The world's not perfect. Yeah. I mean, what could you do? Uh, you know, that's the inconvenience of life. But I you know, just I try to not take a flight whenever I can, you know, but you know, it is what it is. That's just how life is. It's not it's not so fair. All right. Uh good seeing you all and I'll see you all uh next time. Bye bye everyone. Sorry I had no camera today because of